The gates to the Forbidden City are opened at 8 every morning. All tourists entering from the South Gate pass through the Hall of Supreme Harmony Square. But in the past, no one could step into the square except during major state ceremonies. On the ninth day of the first month of the lunar year in 1661, the day after the death of Qing Emperor Xuanzhi, the coronation of eight-year-old Aixin Zhuo Ruo Xuanye was about to begin. It was 3 a.m. and preparations for the most important ceremony in Imperial China were underway. The Emperor's carriage, troops of musicians and flag bearers were all in proper order. The Imperial Edict, Privy Seal and other appurtenances of office were all in place. This time, all the doors of the Hall of Supreme Harmony were opened. The propitious moment had arrived. The Minister of Rights respectfully requested Xuan Ye to ascend the throne in the Hall of Supreme Harmony. Before the Emperor was the largest interior court in the world. It had an area of more than 30,000 square meters. An official in attendance cracked a whip to signal the start of the ceremony. The officials in the square then kneeled three times, each time kowtowing thrice. In fact, however, the people in the square couldn't see the emperor in the hall. They were lined up in columns, each standing 10 meters behind the one in front. The emperor was sitting on the throne too high to see his subjects down in the square. Everyone knew that they were engaging in a performance for heaven. The mood was solemn and dull after the recent funeral of the young emperor's father. But by tradition, musicians were called. Today, however, they were for ornament. This music was played at least three times every year. On the emperor's birthday, New Year's Day and the winter solstice. On those three days, a grand ceremony was held in the square. When these ceremonies were held, the square could hold 100,000 people. But most of the time, it was empty and silent. In 1945, the Japanese army that invaded China surrendered unconditionally. On October the 10th, a formal ceremony of surrender was held at the Hall of Supreme Harmony Square. It was the last state ceremony ever held there. All the major figures in this great historical pageant have now become history. What's left is a weathered stage on which they performed.